Thank you for this opportunity. I am Yoshi of Kyoto University. Professor Lu, his talk really impressed me. Well, only and uh, this morning I was told he was what well, he was going to talk, and I did not know any details. So I was very much impressed here, listening to his presentation. Three years ago, I came back to Japan and uh, I joined the faculty of Kyoto. I was in the U.S. for 20 years, and I was at MIT for the last three years in the U.S., to be honest. Harvard. Well, I went to MIT in 2008 or 9, and Harvard it has been using a technology. I knew that Harvard was a pioneer concerning online education. Before the start of the MOOC, uh, the Harvard was not one of the top notch about the use of technology before the start of the MOOC. But today, as you heard today, there are 63 MOOCs courses available. And they also have blended courses. And during the past five years or so, Harvard transformed a lot thanks to efforts made by the Professor Lu and the commitment by the leadership of the university, Harvard University. I was especially impressed by the fact that the, you have wonderful uh, core commitment. And the, concerning the creation of the content for MOOC, it's more about the technology. But the more important is how you are going to make the content meaningful for the educational purposes. And the, you can make 63 courses, but more important is that the, you make sure that the 63 courses are effective as a learning experiences. And talking about our center in comparison to the box center, box center has a history of 40 years. Our center has a history of 20 years. So it, it's coming of the age for our center, 20 years old. And the book center is in its middle age, as we were discussing yesterday. And the meaning uh, a middle age organization means that it's quite mature. And uh, the Kyoto University has only one MOOC course uh, instead of 63, meaning that the Kyoto University MOOC is only one year old. But I know it's more about the quantity. Of course, the Kyoto University want to increase the number of the courses. But the first one must be very a good one, as you heard from Professor Liu. Uh, it's about the educational experience. And uh, what can we learn by providing MOOC? We need to have a clear understanding. Otherwise, although you can make many, many similar courses of MOOC, uh, the just like uh, cookie cutters, you can simply increase the number of the courses, but you cannot deepen the educational experiences. Our center relatively has a long history. And so far, we have focused on the, the conventional roles as teaching and learning center of Kyoto University. But, well, uh, during the past couple of years, we had four uh, uh, the specific activity in which we served as a national hub for a similar organization in Japan under the sponsorship of the national government. One of them was a faculty development. We are type B, uh, the faculty development, which is based on the community of faculties. In conducting this, we have international, national, local, meaning Kansai, and university level activities, four different levels of activities. And we have done a lot. I know that many of the participants are familiar with what we have done at the center. But these are the outcomes. Until this March, uh, we had to play a role, and uh, we will be relieved from the mission. Of course, uh, it's quite uh, the unfortunate uh, because uh, this was because uh, the government 
or the Ministry of Education change its mind about how uh, the FD is going to be done. As you heard from Professor Kitano, now we have a different grant uh, where we are allowed to seek for a different direction about education. Sometimes you lose your job, but the, on another place, you are given another uh, opportunity, just like uh, any deity can do. Give you both a good fortune and a bad fortune, and whenever we face a difficulty, we are ready to catch another opportunity. So, Professor Lu arrived at uh, Kansai International Airport. On the same day, we were given the notice that the, uh, the government is going to give us another round of uh, grant, and uh, this is thanks to uh, the, the relationship we have uh, with Professor Lu, perhaps. So these are the training workshops, and the, for graduate schools, uh, we do have a lot of programs. When I was at Carnegie, I have been involved in this kind of project. And also at the center, we have been focusing on online use for the community of practice of the faculty so that the, the various uh, teaching experiences, best practices can be shared by the faculty. We have a kind of gallery to share information so that the peer review can be done. And this is a kind of a handmade a faculty a development community. Uh, the yesterday, Professor Lu said that the, at Harvard, you have so many short-term communities. And uh, we also are doing the same thing nationwide in Japan. And uh, this is the e-portfolio we prepared. When I was at MIT, I convinced MIT professors to do the same. This is Heinz Miller, a professor of mathematics, who agreed to do it that way. And what is the situation of ICT and learning at Kyoto University? And there are several components at Kyoto. You will hear the detail from Professor Mino later. This is PANDA. This is an acronym of the learning management system at Kyoto University. And this one is called SAKAI. Uh, this is an open course. Uh, and the, we have the open courseware. And you can see the, uh, the picture of the new president of Kyoto University. It started in 2006, and, uh, and we have eight years. I think Kyoto University is one of the best in providing good open courses. Professor Tosa uh, has been the pioneer. Talking about the open courseware, we make things open, and we have to think about the effective way of using it. Some are done in English language, and it can be utilized again to make it into the academic English listening skill uh, building material. So reusing of OCW is also another focus. And uh, today's moderator is Professor Matsushita, and she has been involved in the research ethics education in Japan. Uh, the research ethics is a big topic. So some of the uh, contents are quite uh, variable, and we give priority in opening them on the OCW. And Harvard has uh, the was the the pioneers of edX, and uh, Kyoto was the first Asian university who was invited to join e edX. You may know it. Coursera, first of all, first of all, invited us to join, and myself and two. Others were saying that the edX is better. And the President Masumoto uh, was persuaded by us. I gave him a lot of explanation. And this is a chronicle I cited to convince our President. I said that the edX is better, personally, because as you heard from Professor Liu, the member university of edX of collaboration 
are committed to the innovation of education. If it's only about uh, preparing MOOC, it doesn't care uh, which organization you're going to join. But edX is a non-profit organized by universities. And the MOOC should be able to satisfy our mission to offer better education. We joined uh, uh, edX, and uh, things are quite difficult. And the speed is much slower than I expected when it comes to the collaboration among different universities. 